This video shows how to render uh, text with HTML um, text uh, like this one into a real HTML with uh, this element structure in React. So uh, in the background I have my application um, and in this application uh, I do like in all React um, sheets or web pages uh, there's my component, I have the constructor and I have a lot of stuff. I get the HTML content from a web API. So this happens when the website is loaded and it's populated with data from my web API. And then when I have the web API, I have here some HTML text. So this is the, that stuff what you see in here. Uh, we have here the HTML text and then there's our break and, and another break, some span elements. I get all that stuff from my Word uh, HD, uh, HTM document. So uh, when I try to uh, run that stuff, then I keep that stuff a little bit uh, more simpler. Um, the easiest way is to write uh, in the render method here, render function, render, uh, here render and then return. Then you have always the diff as a main stuff and then you have uh, here this diff container and there inside you write the attribute uh, dangerously set in a HTML. Write it straight into the render method and then inside the this is the uh, raw HTML and this is uh, and th there you set the argument which you get from your uh, as your state variable and then with two brackets and then as soon as you do this you will get this uh, conversion into a real world uh, into real world uh, application and you get the same stuff normally when you uh, define something that's what I have here in my uh, ready page. Uh, I do the same. I get uh, from my Word files. I drop all my Word file stuff. Wait, that's my Word, Word stuff. I always drop this one into my into my uh, into a text area box. So when I drop it in there, this is all uh, from my Word when you when you drop uh, control C control V uh, cut and paste you, when you drop that stuff then it's uh, in the background HTML that's what you see in here that's like what you have there that's HTML it's HTML and I'm saving that stuff and in my database as as it is and when I get it back so and I'm also loading some pages or something like this. And then when I've loaded it and I go to the uh, show HTML to text and versa. When I go back there, you will see now this is rendered. Uh, it's not in, this is not rendered in uh, React, but it's the same uh, in React when you do it here with the dangerous, uh, dangerously set inner HTML and it's quite convenient. Um, and I do it with uh, ASP.NET Core. So this is, uh, but it's the same. That's what I try to do in this uh, single page application. If you need the code, the code is on my website here on, in this case on my ready.net uh, and you may take the code from there. So you have the code in here.